I want to talk to you about your app. Specifically, that app that you took great care to make sure you coded it correctly, you gave it a beautiful UI, you measured twice, cut once, you even threw in some unit tests for good measure. But then you published it to the App Store, and the unthinkable happened. That's right, it crashed. Why did it crash? It couldn't have been anything I did. It must have been that new guy. But how am I going to track down why it crashed? Well, on today's episode, we're going to talk about the undesirable yet seemingly inevitable app crash. So buckle up, make sure your airbags are fully functional because today's forecast calls for a high chance of impact. So welcome back to Breaking the Build. I'm your host, Brenton House, and today we are going to talk about crashes, or more specifically, how to survive them. So crash analytics. Some of you may have heard of this already, and for others, it'll be new. So what is crash analytics? Well, if you're familiar at all with mobile analytics, you probably think about logging a bunch of stuff and getting some stats about things going on in your app. Well, if you think about crash analytics, it's pretty similar, except that it has a focus on crashes. So with crash analytics, you're going to leave things called breadcrumbs throughout your app, and this is just kind of a specialized logging that will leave statements and let you know what was going on with the user right before your app crashes. Now, the crash analytics module will capture app crashes and unhandled exceptions and then combine those breadcrumbs with the code and stack trace that was going on when your app crashes. And then it'll present it to you in a report. Now you're probably wondering what kind of code or stack trace am I gonna get in this crash report? Well, it's a good question. It depends on the crash analytics module that you use. Now, if you're developing your app for iOS or Android using a platform native solution like Objective-C or Java, and you're using a crash analytics solution like Google Firebase, then you're going to get a Java stack trace or an Objective-C stack trace depending on your platform. However, a lot of you are using JavaScript-based cross-platform native solutions such as Axway's Titanium, Native Script, or React Native. Now, you can use a module like Google Firebase with your JavaScript solution. However, you're going to quickly find out that when you get a crash and you go to look at the report, the stack trace is Objective-C if it's iOS or it's Java if it's Android. And you may be able to look at the stack trace and kind of guess what was going on. And it may help you with your solution of finding out why the app crashed, but it's really hit or miss. Well, there is a better solution. Now, if you're like a lot of users and you're using Axway's Titanium to build your cross-platform native app, then you can take advantage of Axway's crash analytics. Now with this module, you get a lot of what you would expect. You can leave breadcrumbs, you can catch unhandled exceptions, but where the difference really shines is when you go to get your crash report. So when you're going to look at your crash analytics report, you're not only gonna see your breadcrumbs and a lot of the other information about the user, but you are going to see your stack trace in the JavaScript that you actually coded in, as well as the iOS and Android stack traces of the native code behind there. So I know as a developer, you need every bit of information you can get when you get a crash. You're gonna get that call and you have an app out in the app store and it crashed and time is of the essence to get that crash fixed. So you need every bit of information you can get your hands on. So having the actual JavaScript stack trace is essential missing piece of the puzzle for a developer and it will help you get to a solution faster. So check out the documentation for Axways Crash Analytics here as you see on the screen. And as always, I will post the code and other links in the show notes. So that's a wrap for today's episode. I'm Brenton House. Thank you for joining us on Breaking the Build and we look forward to seeing you in the next episode.